This 63 Continental needed everything. We stripped this car down and we worked every inch, completely overhauled the engine and transmission, gave it a brand new all black interior, all new chrome, custom 22 inch wire wheels, and topped it all off with a mirror finish black paint job that is simply stunning. She's sexy. Good day, folks. Here are times when Pawn Stars bought rare cars with the Counting Cars crew. What really makes the difference right now is the test drive. <laughs> it's the only way to validate whether it's a real Shelby. I think it's the real deal, guys. Do you mind if we take it for a spin around the block, make sure there's no problems, everything's running right? Uh, yeah, that's, that's OK. That's fine. Okay. So I promise I won't break it. OK, you promise. Danny gives Rick the best wedding gift ever, his high school car. Rick has an upcoming wedding and Danny has the perfect wedding gift in mind. Danny has bought a Volkswagen that was Rick's dream car and restored it to perfect working condition. I'm stopping by the pawn shop today to show Rick this Volkswagen thing that he thinks I snagged out from under him. Are you really gonna buy my high school car? Plan on this, man, it just happened. Actually, we've been working like mad on it to get it in mint condition for him. You see, I want this thing to be 10 times better than the thing that he drove back in the day. You see, Rick's getting married soon, and I can't wait to see the look on his face when I tell him that this Volkswagen thing is a gift from me to him. The plot thickens. It turns out that Rick had long accused Danny of buying the car out from under him despite knowing its sentimental value to him. I figured you would like this, bro. Well, I would have liked it if you didn't steal it out from under me. Steal nothing? I didn't steal nothing. So you just sort of came over to rub it in my face? I wouldn't say rub it in your face. I just wanted to show off to you because we put a lot of work into it since the last time you saw it, man. Danny later showed up at the world famous gold and silver pawn shop, claiming to have a car round back that would interest Rick. Actually, in all honesty, I, I did come down because I got something I want to show you. Okay, what do you got? Uh, it's a car. I figured, right. I figured you would dig it. All right. You got it? You got a couple? Bring it in the warehouse so we don't got to deal around with it. Around back? Yeah. I'm going to run around back right now. Though Rick was immediately suspicious, he had no choice but to walk around back. Danny wants me to look at a car. I don't know why. Usually, I call him to look at a car. He's just being a little weird. But, you know, it's Danny, so what the hell? <laughs> Rick was still determining what to expect from his old friend. Boy, was he in for a surprise. His old high school car was just about to be revealed. Oh my God. What do you think, man? So you came by to tease me with it? <laughs> Rick was in awe when he saw the mustard yellow Volkswagen. He initially thought Danny had come to salt his wounds by showing off the car. So you just sort of came over to rub it in my face? I wouldn't say rub it in your face. I just wanted to show off to you because we put a lot of work into it since the last time you saw it. Man. After Rick inspected the vehicle and gave it a thumbs up, Danny dropped the bombshell we had all been waiting for. Walk around this thing, man. Look at this thing with me, man. She's beautiful. All this powder coating. The new paint job, custom made these fenders with a nice roll to them, new top. You see this interior? Oh. I just really needed to know that I got a thumbs up from you on this, man. So have I got, have I got thumbs up on this? Yeah. It's a really cool car. Could not believe his ears when Danny told him he would not have to pay a cent to own the car. It was his wedding gift. I'm glad you dig it, because you're getting married. I wanted to say congratulations in the right way. This is yours. Really, dude? This is my wedding present from me to you. Danny knew how much he deserved to rekindle memories and make new ones by driving his wife around in his old high school ride. Rick was so grateful for the wonderful surprise that he hugged Danny and told him he loved him. I don't, I don't know what to say, man. I just, uh... Oh, I love you, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna make her love it. <laughs> You're going to make her love your thing. Yeah. <laughs> what a touching bromance. Rick buys a classic 68 Mustang Fastback GT Steve McQueen lookalike. Rick and Corey were on their way to look at a classic 68 Mustang Fastback GT, and at first sight, they had two distinct reactions. Earlier, I got a call from a guy selling a classic Mustang. So Corey and I are on our way to go check it out. So this is it, huh? This is it. A 68 Mustang Fastback GT. This is what we're here for? Uh, yes, we're definitely here for this. This is the coolest car ever made, possibly. This is a car that Steve McQueen used to drive. Rick was so excited, he referred to the epic Mustang as the most incredible car ever made, according to his own words. This is the quintessential muscle car. 
It's 1968, the movie Bullet comes out. It was the greatest car chase scene in the history of all movies, and they have no special effects or anything like that. This is it. Corey was also beyond himself to lay eyes on the legendary car. This type of car is identical to the one the unforgettable Steve McQueen used to drive. Steve McQueen was one of the biggest movie stars of the 60s and the 70s. I'm a huge fan, and it's not just me. There's a ton of diehard McQueen fans out there that I could sell this to. I want it. In one of the greatest movies of all time, Movie Bullet, he had a similar vehicle. The movie had the most incredible car chase scene and no special effects. In Bullet, he had a 68 Mustang GTE Fastback. Right. This is the quintessential muscle car. It's 1968, the Movie Bullet comes out. It was the greatest car chase scene in the history of all movies, and they have no special effects or anything like that. This fact made Rick want it even more because he is a massive fan of Steve McQueen. The owner wanted to sell it for $20,000. Rick decided to call an expert to value the car. You want to sell this, right? I want to sell it. How much do you want for it? I got to get 20 grand out of it. When this car is like new again, it will be worth around $100,000. Let me have a friend come down and take a look. Sure. Danny, the expert, was astonished to behold the fantastic muscle car and eager to inspect it. He began inspecting it, and the more he examined it, the more he fell in love. Goodness gracious, a Steve McQueen machine. There's no rust rot in it, it's just surface rust. This ain't rust. It looked like somebody used some sort of a chemical stripping agent on it. It makes it look like that. Sexy. The way all the door gaps line up, the way the doors open and close, I mean, it's solid. Let's take a look at the uh, the sole of this beautiful baby right here. Ah. It is the factory engine, five liter, 302 engine. That's correct, that's exactly what's supposed to be in here. He confirmed that it was a genuine GT and gave it an estimated value between $12,000 to $15,000. So is it a GT? Looks like a GT to me, brother, and it looks like a nice one, believe it or not. It's this grill with the fog lights built into the grill. Things like the gas cap, that's all factory GT items. I would comfortably put this car anywhere between twelve dollars and $15,000 as it sits right now. OK. All right, man, if I buy it, I'll give you a call. I'll be waiting for that call. <laughs> Corey? Rick started with an awful offer of half the initial price, ten grand. I'll give you ten grand for it. Oh, I, I got to have more than that. I'll come down a little bit, but I can't come down that much. That's half of what I was asking. My guy just said it was worth 12, dude. I need to get 15. They later negotiated and landed on 12,500 as the final price. Rick was hungry for the deal, and he accepted the price, and the deal was done. I'll go 11. I mean, basically, it's just going to sit around here and rot. It can't get worse here. I'll keep it inside, out of the weather. Can you come up any? How about 12? How about 12.5? That's the least I can take, 12.5. All right, it's a deal. OK. Rick paid the owner and gave it to Danny to be restored to its initial value. We've been working around the clock to get this bullet Mustang ready for Rick Harrison. And after everything we've been through with her, she's finally ready for the road. So I've got Kevin bringing Rick and Corey out to the desert so they can see what this baby can do. Well, there's something coming. This definitely doesn't look like the piece of crap we bought. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow. That's not the same car, is it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my God, man. <laughs> that thing is amazing. The car was different from how he bought it. It was terrific from the paint job to the different forms. Beautiful, huh? Came out gorgeous. Oh, this is cool, man. I poured my heart and soul into it just like I was building it for myself. This is just absolutely amazing. Glad you dig it, brother. I'm looking at this car and everything about it's amazing. The paint job, the chrome, the wheels. I mean, this car used to look like a piece of now it's one of the prettiest cars I have ever seen in my life. Sexy, This huh? is amazing. What'd you do to the motor? Everything. Well, that's definitely not stock. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we took this car down to the last nut and bolt. It's a very, very happy motor, dude. That's amazing. All right. Do your thing. It's amazing. <laughs> this thing's literally the fountain of youth. Oh, look at me in the mirror. I'm 22 years younger. Chumley's 1963 Lincoln Continental Restored. Chum had taken over his old Lincoln Continental to count customs for it to be restored to its best conditions. It's been over two years since we started this project, but finally, Chumley's beautiful 1963 Lincoln Continental is 
done. At customs, the car had to be started from scratch after a period of repairing it when they noticed the paintwork was incorrectly done. After we discovered all of the paint prep work was incorrect, done by someone who obviously no longer works for me here at Counts Customs, we had to take this car apart and start from scratch. The vehicle was sandblasted and assembled, including all the new bodyworks. The black paint job was then gorgeously applied to the car's whole body. The interior of the car was all new, including the chrome of the car. We got her completely sandblasted, put her all back together, all new bodywork, got the gorgeous black paint job, all new interior, all new chrome. This car is so badass, I know that when Chum sees her, he ain't gonna want to sell her. Danny was also excited to present the car that was now brand new. I can tell you this though, I'm thrilled. It's bad, bro. It's so classy, man. It's so classy, chum. You're gonna love it, man. You're gonna love it. I'm excited to see it. I, I think mean... it's gorgeous. Let's roll this 63 out and show this man his beautiful Lincoln. Although it took over two years for the whole project, it was amazing when it first showed up. The car was so classy and everything from the shining grill to the color was so attractive. Just give me a minute to look at this pretty smile and that beautiful reflection. <laughs> at first, the vehicle needed everything, and now it was brand new. They stripped off everything from the car and even had to overhaul the engine and transmission. The interior was given a black look, giving it an excellent design. The wheels had custom 22-inch tire wheels and an incredible mirror finish black paint job. This 63 Continental needed everything. We stripped this car down and we worked every inch completely overhauled the engine and transmission, gave it a brand new all black interior, all new chrome, custom 22 inch wire wheels, and topped it all off with a mirror finish black paint job that is simply stunning. She's sexy. The car was just amazing. Chum was so happy because now he would make a profit when the time comes to sell it. The long wait was worth it. The car's been here forever, but it's beautiful, it's perfect, everything's done right. I'm excited to actually get the car home so I can get it listed on the internet and flip it. I need to make some money. Rick buys a 1967 Shelby GT350 that was in the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. Rick could not believe his eyes when a customer offered him this legendary car. The owner purchased it 12 years ago ago in Vegas, the car's value skyrocketed after being featured in the movie Gone in 60 Seconds. You gotta be kidding me. Shelby GT350, Gone in 60 Seconds, the movie. It's Eleanor, I get it. <laughs> Carol Shelby, the famous race car driver, had performed 100 modifications to develop the GT350. This is one of the quintessential cool cars of the 1960s. There was right around 100 modifications that Shelby did to a Ford Mustang to make the GT350. It improved its performance, its handling, and its style. Needless to say, this is about as cool as it gets, and I would love to have it. The car was signed at the glove box, and the owner asked for $125,000. It looks all beautifully stock. That's what I like to see. Yep, original four-speed top loader. Got 62,000 original miles on the car. Original gauges. I'm sure the upholstery's been redone. Just the inserts in the seats actually have been redone. Well, that's, that's expected to be done, it's just as long as it's done right. Right. And this all looks right. And uh, he signed the glove box. Always charged like a, a couple hundred bucks. You just had to give it to his charity, right? Yep, that's the way it went. That's definitely a plus, as far as I'm concerned. The expert said only a test drive could determine the car's value. Rick took the car around the block with his buddy, but had to promise not to break it. What really makes the difference right now is the test drive. <laughs> it's the only way to validate whether it's a real Shelby. <laughs> I think it's the real deal, guys. Do you mind if we take it for a spin around the block, make sure there's no problems, everything's running right? Uh, yeah, that's that's okay, that's fine. Okay. So I promise I won't break it. Okay, you promise. He valued the car between $100,000 and $110,000. It's a solid car, runs and drives good, so I'd say anywhere between $100,000 to $110,000. I appreciate you letting us take it for a nice, easy meander down the road. I appreciate what you said, and we'll talk yeah. and we'll see how it You goes. got a great car, man. Great okay, car, Rick. I appreciate it. Thanks so right, much. See you soon, Good luck, buddy. Rick offered the man an impressive one hundred k without any more or fewer negotiations. So, what do you think? Um, I think it's a great car, and I rarely do this, but I'm not going to negotiate. I will give you hundred grand. The owner tried to squeeze in 5000 extra, but Rick was adamant about his offer. The owner accepted the offer from Rick and made a deal. Is it feasible that you might be able to do 105? No. Anything past 100, 
is doesn't make a dime of sense. All right, so that's the max you're gonna go. Not one dime more. You got a deal. Sweet. Rick gets a bullet Mustang restored from a rust bucket to a gleaming ride. The counting cars crew takes Corey and Rick out to the desert. They want to show them a bullet Mustang they had restored. All right, so where are we at? It's top secret. <laughs> I'm just hoping you're not bringing me out here to bury me or bury the car. This is Vegas, you know. So you really did bring us out here to kill us. <laughs> <laughs> The crew took the car down to its nuts and bolts and poured their soul into restoring it. Beautiful, huh? It came out gorgeous. Oh, this is cool, man. I poured my heart and soul into it just like I was building it for myself. This is just absolutely amazing. Glad you dig it, brother. I'm looking at this car and everything about it's amazing. The paint job, the chrome, the wheels. I mean, this car used to look like a piece of <laughs> Now it's one of the prettiest cars I have ever seen in my life. Sexy, this huh? This is amazing. What'd you do to the motor? Everything. Well, that's definitely not stock. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we took this car down to the last nut and bolt. It's a very, very happy motor, dude. That's amazing. Danny hesitates to tell Rick how much the restoration cost. It cost more than the initial 15 to 20K they budgeted for. So I'm assuming it cost more than 15 grand to fix. Well, you know, well, let's talk about that later. Let's go for a drive first, man. <laughs> Before I tell Rick how much we ended up spending on the bullet, I want to get him out on the road so he can see just how bad this car is. Hopefully, he won't be too mad when he hears we went over budget. The final price tag was $22,000. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice. Look, I grew hair. <laughs> Danny told me he'd get this thing done for $15,000. I think it's going to go way over that. OK, so I'm imagining it cost more than the 15 to 20. It did. I definitely blew past our budget. I know we were, we were trying to keep it as close as we could to 15. I've got, you know, 22 in it. I mean, honestly, if you would have told me 35, I would have thought that was a deal. But uh, hey, I don't got to pay that. Thanks, man. <laughs> <laughs> this 